Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. Flash separation, understanding the concept and its applications. This course will be presented in two part series. Part 1 Understanding the concept. Part 2 How to calculate the vapor split, typical applications, and types of flash separators. Flash separation part 1 Understanding the concept. In this part 1 of the video, you will learn what is flash, flash calculations, their objectives, flash operation process variables, what is flash pressure, and how to determine the flash pressure. Please subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you will motivate us to produce knowledgeable video content for you. So, subscribe now before you forget. One of the simplest separation process commonly used to separate a binary or multi-component mixer is flash distillation. The name flash originates from the fact that a liquid at a pressure equal to or greater than its bubble point pressure flashes or partially evaporates when the pressure is reduced below the bubble point pressure, producing a two-phase system of vapor and liquid in equilibrium. So, flash is an equilibrium separation process. It may be called a single stage distillation process. The tank in which the flash operation is accomplished is called the flash drum. Shown in this figure on the side is a picture of a flash tank. In industrial flash operation processes, a part of the liquid stream vaporizes in a flash chamber or a part of the vapor condenses. The vapor and liquid in equilibrium with each other are separated. The more volatile component is more concentrated in the vapor. Usually, a large separation is not achieved because there is no large difference in the relative volatility of the components. Having said that, flash separation is used widely in several separation applications in refineries, petrochemical and oil gas industries. We will look at some of the examples in these industries later in the part 2 of the video. Illustrated in this figure is flash distillation. The liquid feed at stated conditions flows through a throttle valve or nozzle to your flash drum. A heater is shown in the figure. Certain applications needs a preheater before the feed is admitted to the flash drum. Because of the difference in pressure, part of the liquid vaporizes. The vaporization is extremely fast. The flash vapor moves up and the liquid drops down. The flash drum provides a sufficient residence time for the flash vapor and liquid to separate. The vapor is removed as overhead, whereas the liquid accumulates at the bottom and is removed under level control. To prevent liquid droplets from getting entrained in the vapor, a mist eliminator is provided in the flash vessel at the top. Note, the pressure and temperature before the throttle valve are PF and TF and that in the flash vessel are PV and TV. The modes of the vapor separated is V with mole fraction of light component Y and that of the liquid is L with mole fraction of the light component X. The enthalpy of the feed is HF and there are the vapor and liquid or HV and HL respectively. Flash calculations. Flash term is in equilibrium stage and the vapor and liquid in the vessel are in equilibrium. Flash calculations are used for processes with vapor liquid equilibrium.
the objective of the flash calculations is to calculate fraction of the feed that is evaporized that is the V by F ratio and the combustion of the components in the vapor phase and liquid phase exiting the flash tank. You can specify any of the following combinational variables in the flash tank for the flash operation. 1. Pressure and temperature. 2. Pressure and vapor flow. 3. Temperature and vapor flow. The vapor liquid equilibrium VLE can be expressed in terms of K value. For component I, Ki equal to Yi by Xi. Where Ki is called equilibrium value or distribution coefficient for component I. Y is the mole fraction of the component I in the vapor phase in equilibrium with the liquid. Xi is a mole fraction of component I in the liquid phase. VLE depends on the pressure and temperature. If the pressure and temperature are fixed, the vapor and liquid composition of say more volatile components as well as the fraction vaporized gets fixed. Referring to the figure 1, we can write the overall and component mass balance as follows. F equal to L plus V and F times Z i equal to V times Y i plus L times X i. Also, we have the relationship sigma i to n X i equal to 1 and sigma i to n Y i equal to 1. The overall energy balance equation for flash separation process is F times HF plus Q equal to V times HV plus L times HL. Q is a heat added or preheat quantity. Several application employs constant enthalpy flash separation process. The pressure in the flash vessel is maintained through a pressure control valve in the vapor exit line. Hence it is constant pressure enthalpy process. It is called pH flash. Also it is an adiabatic process meaning during flash no heat is added or removed from the system. For an adiabatic flash tank we write the steady state energy balance equation F times HF equal to V times HV plus L times HL. The flash calculations involve the determination of the following flash pressure and temperature, preheat requirement, vapor split and vapor liquid composition in equilibrium. To specify the flash pressure to control the vapor to feed split, you must understand two terms called bubble pressure and dew pressure. Flash pressure. Flash pressure is the pressure required to achieve equilibrium at a definite temperature that is flash point. The major parameter needed in, the, in estimating the total pressure or on the vapor pressure of each component to the composition of each component in the feed. Before we move on, I would like to make a call to my dear viewers. Your spec Elon channel is a one-stop learning and skill development channel for your career. So do not forget to subscribe. Please press the subscribe button right now. From these two parameters, the bubble pressure and dew pressure are calculated assuming Raoult's law holds good. From the bubble pressure and dew pressure, the optimum flash pressure can be calculated. Bubble pressure. Bubble pressure is calculated from the expression P bubble equal to sigma i to n x i times P a sat. 
where P i sat is a vapor pressure of the component i at the flash temperature. X i is a mole fraction component in the liquid phase. Since we are dealing with a given feed, in this equation, the value of x i is equal to the molar concentration z i of each component in the feed. Hence, we can write the above equation as p bubble equal to sigma i to n z i times p i sat. Dew pressure. To calculate the dew point or pressure for an ideal vapor mixer, you can use the expression p i sat times x i equal to p times y i or sigma i to n p i sat times x i equal to sigma i to n p times y i. Since sigma i equal to 1 to n x i equal to 1, we can rewrite sigma i equal to 1 p i sat equal to p times sigma i to 1 y i. Rearranging, we get p equal to sigma i equal to 1 to n p i sat divided by sigma i equal to 1 to n y i. We can read this expression as p equal to 1 by e sigma i equal to 1 to n y i by p i sat. As we did in the bubble pressure calculation for a feed mixer, here also the value of y is equal to the concentration of components z i in the field. The above equation is equal to p d equal to 1 by sigma i equal to 1 to n z i by p i sat. Having calculated the bubble pressure and dew pressure, how will you decide on the flash pressure? For the vapor liquid equilibrium to be valid, the flash pressure must lie between the bubble pressure and dew pressure. At bubble point, V by F is equal to 0. At dew point, F by V equal to 1. This explains the importance of bubble and dew pressure calculations in the flash separation process. The flash pressure can be varied within this range to get the optimum vapor split. The usual practice is to vary the flash pressure at constant flash temperature to get optimum vapor split. To understand the concept better, consider a binary liquid mixer that is subjected to flash. The feed is methanol water. The specification for the flash is pressure and vapor produced that is V to F ratio. Referring to the flash vessel in this figure, the flash separation is carried out at pressure PV is equal to 1 bar. The feed rate is 100 kmol per hour. The feed concentration of methanol is XF equal to 0.5. The overall mass balance is F is equal to L plus V and the component mass balance is FXF equal to V Y V plus L X L. Simplifying, we get Y V equal to F X of minus L X L divided by V or Y V equal to minus L by V times X L plus F by V times X F. This is the equation of operating line for the flash vessel. Minus L by V is the slope of the operating line and F by V times X F is the intercept on the mechanical diagram. Now let us consider three situations. One, the vapor fraction V removed is zero. That is, V to F ratio is zero. This gives F is equal to L and the slope L by V is minus infinity. Two, vapor fraction V to F ratio is one. Hence, V is equal to F is equal to one and L is equal to zero. The slope L by V is minus zero. 3. 
the vapor fraction b to f is 2 by 3. Hence, L by F is 1 by 3 and the slope of the operating line L by V is one, minus 1 by 2 or minus 0.5. Now, substituting x is equal to x of in the equation for the operating line and simplifying, we get y equal to x equal to x of that is the field concentration x of lies on the diagonal line. In other words, the operating line and the diagonal line intersect at x is equal to x f. Hence, for all the three cases, the operating line and diagonal line intersects at x is equal to x f. Shown in this figure is a x y BLA diagram for methanol water system. Here we have plotted the operating lines for the three cases with x equal to y equal to xf and the slopes minus infinity, minus 1 by 2 and minus 0. The highest concentration of methanol in the vapor is obtained when v by f is 0 and xf is equal to 0.5. In this case, the operating line cuts the equilibrium line at y is equal to 0.782. The lowest liquid concentration is obtained when v by f is 1 that is slope is minus 0. At x of equal to 0.5 and y is equal to 0.5, the liquid concentration x equal to 0.17. When v by f is 2 by 3, the operating line cuts the equilibrium line such that y is 0.63 and x is 0 0.25. This is the simulated results of the case 3 which is V by F is equal to 2 by 3. The vapor concentration of methanol for this case is 0.63 and that in the liquid phase is 0.25. Note we did not use the field rate in the above calculations. The equilibrium concentrations are not impacted by the field rate. It is the size of the flash vessel, diameter and energy needed for preheating vary with the field rate. Larger the flow rate, larger the diameter of the flash tank. For a binary mixer, it is simple to use the Macap theory diagram to solve the flash problem. For flash calculations involving multi-component mixes, you need a different approach. Referring to the flash vessel in this figure, there is a hydrocarbon feed liquid mixer consisting of 20% propane, 80% hexane and 20% octane. It is intended to do flash separation to separate 75% of the feed as vapor. What should be the flash pressure? What should be the flash temperature? What be the composition of the vapor stream and liquid stream exiting the tank? These are the interesting calculations you are requested to do in multi-component flash separation. Several industrial separation processes involve multi-component feed mixes. We will cover it in the next video. So do not miss the part 2 of this video. Please subscribe to our channel and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of career oriented professional students. Thank you for watching.